let me go back and show you a different type of chart. So now we are going to quickly look at metrics. Okay. Uh, similar to table. Uh, let's see how, what is the difference here? I'm going to pull in the same data fields that I pulled here in table. Okay. Um, so in the metrics, I'm going to pull in brand category, number of reviews, ordered revenue and ordered units. Okay. When I did that, you can notice it's, it's different in how the metrics shows. It has a lot of horizontal scroll. Okay. Let me just make it a bit larger to see what the data it has. Okay. So this is how it has. Let me go to the focus mode to see it in like larger sense. Okay. Uh, even still it, it is okay. Let me minimize the field pane. So now you're able to see it in a bit more uh, clarity data. Okay. What is the difference here? You can see that, you know, there is a bit of pivoting that happened and, and you know, C1, all of these is category values and this is category two values. And then you have a different sets of totals and all of that. And now all of this, the view it is showing right now can be customized by the way, uh, similarly like last time. But first thing you can notice is, you know, uh, now you're seeing rows, columns and values. Okay. So before it was different in table, but it's different in metrics. And similarly for every visualization, this is going to be different. Okay. The different, uh, uh, different options here will be different. Now that's one basic difference between, uh, table and metrics. When you pull in two dimensions or multiple dimensions, then it's going to show it in a, like a pivoted view where one dimension will be in this row and the other will be in the columns and then the metrics will be added up and aggregated and it's shown up like here. But in a table, it's always going to be like your ideal data model view. How you remember how we changed the multi-level data into this ideal view where everything would be under one, one single column, which is like a good data model for you to use. Right? So this is the different ways in which you can change. Uh, from table and metrics and metrics also has a lot of format options. However, I'm not going to go into a lot of that. Uh, you have options to change, you know, subtotal, like for example, subtotal, I can turn it on columns subtotals. I can turn it off. You see how all of this total columns went away, but everything else, pretty much everything else is similar to how you saw in table. And there may be a one or two additional options there, which you can explore and find out. Right. Uh, so that's metrics. I'm going to delete the metrics. Now I don't need the metrics. I'm going to keep this table. And also, uh, okay, so that's out.